The interaction menu is still broken to navigate game modes, but yet Activision has time to steady throw fucking bundles in your face. And along with that, they just did a big ass update giving us CDL Mosh Pit. This game is already fucking sweaty as shit. Who the hell want to rank play CDL playlist already? And on top of that, look at the menu, bruh. You can't even get to it right. You got to click on shoot house, back out of shoot house, then scroll all the way down to find the fucking game mode. And look at tier one. They made a fucking special place for their bundles. So you can see them bundles, but you can't even see where the fuck tier one is at. You got to scroll all the way down and, and fucking lift up a bunch of garbage to find the shit. I don't know about you, but I don't like fucking searching through buried treasures just to find the right game mode, bruh. All this promotion should not be in the game if the game ain't even fucking fixed. You doing all this shit so motherfucking accidentally buy a bundle. How about you make the fucking game right and I will want to spend my money on a bundle. Alright, now it's time to address the elephant in the room. CDL Mosh Pit is here. Whether we like it or not, and for some reason, yes. I was fooled and I hopped out there to act like it would be something different from what we getting in multiplayer. Now, of course, off the rip, I don't know if you're saying or not, all the CDL rules is in place. So I didn't even have a class that was acceptable. Shit, all my classes weren't acceptable. So I took the little default class. I threw a red dot on there. And I ain't changed nothing else. I said, let me hop in. Let me see what it's like. I want to get straight to the action. And, you know, once I got here, I really realized something. Skill-based matchmaking never getting addressed again. I mean, they pulled our chain in the beginning. They told us that their new skill-based matchmaking was horrible and they was going to try to make it less demonic. And after that one statement, we ain't heard shit since. After everybody been complaining, pointing it out, saying how much worse it got, we ain't heard nothing. And before the game is even fixed, before they even fix little things like the fucking main menu, what do they do? Shove a CDL playlist in our face. And you know, to them, that fixes it. They think all the sweats is going to automatically say, hey, well, I want to go play CDL. I don't, fuck this shit. I don't like sweating in, in, in regular pubs. I want to be with the real sweats. No. Nobody going to go play that shit. It's just going to be just as sweaty as in fucking regular pubs now. And then on top of that, on top of that, look, they designed it in a way that makes it so much more readier and bitch made than regular pubs. Let me tell you why. They got the CDL playlist right, but the playlist is 4v4. And in description of that playlist, it says CDL rules enforce on small to medium maps. Small to medium maps. That shit don't even exist in this game. Now they fucking playing with us. I can't get jiggy with this shit. I instantly seen that and said, oh, I got to try this out. I got to see where these small to medium maps at because I ain't seen not one this whole year. I'm thinking they finna give us CDL playlists on Shoot House 24-7. I get in this bitch and look what map they give me. This map right here. And they consider this a small map. So we already know. During this year of Modern Warfare 2, the small maps, we might not get one. We might just get shipment and that's it. And I'm okay with literally only playing shipment for the rest of these two years. Now, in case somebody was out there confused, they don't know what skill-based matchmaking is. They don't know what ranked play is. It's basically when they put the great players versus the very good players because they know they're very good and they want to stop their growth on being great. Yeah, that's how it works. I mean, because think about it. We all know this. Once you're great at the game, you start whooping on people who not so great at the game. And, and somewhere in Activision brain, that messes up their money because it makes the less skilled players not want to spend money on the game for some reason. All this is is a big shortcut in life. They took out the fucking skill gap. You don't get the game, suck at it, learn how to get good, and then and force your skills on the players that don't know how to get good yet. No, you get the game and if you suck, you stay, you suck. You be in the same lobbies that's not so stressful and you're not really getting demolished, but you're not really doing great either versus players that's not really doing great either. 
So, what does that do for players? It leaves them where the fuck they at. They be content at being fucking bums and happy with it because they're not really getting destroyed in their mind. And to Activision, that's the perfect spot because they still enjoying the game and want to spend money. Now, at first, I was kind of fooled with this rank play shit. I said, hold up. Maybe we got something here. Because look at the score right now. Look at the score. They barely had the fucking hard point touch. My team got 150. We've been pushing they shit back the whole lobby. But for some reason, you know, a few teammates on my side dipped. A few more came in on they side. They've been swapping out. Skill-based matchmaking be working live while you're playing. Niggas leaving and they find them more niggas that's way better to come flip the script. And that's exactly what they did, because we did not win this game. And oh, the fucking comeback was almost unreal, bro. I couldn't believe this shit. Y'all just literally saying how we started the game and that we was winning. Look at the fucking score now, bro. Ain't much shit changed. I'm running around killing motherfuckers. I was going crazy in the beginning. Still getting warmed up. This is my first game. But eventually, I felt like I couldn't get a fucking kill. And that's when I knew. At this playlist right here is the fucking mother load of skill-based matchmaking. If you hate skill-based matchmaking already, oh, stay far away from this motherfucker. Because ain't no way we just blew a fucking damn near 200-point lead like that. Oh, yeah, it's like that out here. And you will find out real quick. But one thing I want to say before we get up out of here. You know, Activision told us that the rank mode and this CDL mode was so-called crafted by Treyarch. Remember they said they was in charge of that in the beginning? So if Treyarch's in charge of the CDL and the rank shit, and everybody else is in charge of the rest of the game, then this new update does nothing. It did no extra work for them. So why the fuck is the game still broke? Why do they have time to throw in a whole little fucking section for bundles on the main menu when there's so much shit wrong with the game still. Well, I'll tell you why they got so much time to do this. Because they still making money. Players out here complaining, but still buying the shit. It's ass backwards, bruh. It's ass backwards. They still making money. They made more money than they ever made in the beginning when the shit released. So you know they gonna double back for more. Let me know what y'all think. Shout out to the Savage Nation. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. I hate my shit. I spent the light 10. I got the pipe in. Gonna spin a block, no typing. I just want the face like we Skype in. Can't